I don't know if Cologne can come back from this, fellas. I think they might kind of be done. Got... This is the best game in the NF history. Oh, they get, oh yeah, they had a field goal attempt that they missed, but then they called it back for a holding. And then they punted the ball, and then they got called back. They got added a bunch of different flags that all offset each other. It took over five minutes to decide what they were going to do. And then they fumbled the ball anyway, so it didn't even matter. Run up the gut for uh, Galaxy goes a good distance. That's what we love to see. Let's give it another try. Nothing yet. <laughs> Nothing yet. Yeah, two great points. That's been a, a bright spark. That was, yeah, I mean, this this is uh, this is the reality in which we are in at the moment. But the punts <laughs> and the fumbles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like Frankfurt is starting to run the ball real well, though. Santos had a couple of, like, 10-yard gains. All right, let's write down what we've had so far. Oh, but then I need the chat up. I'll, like, go back and forth. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bad fumble sets up the score. I mean, those run holes are kind of there today, to be fair. I'll write that down too. Early holes. There we go. Let's get back. I could put it in the, yeah, another window, to be fair. I was supposed to be calling this game. Would it be nice to hear this person on Twitter and tag everyone? We're nearly half well. We are halfway through the first quarter as well. Okay, with the run outside. Takes a good bit of contact on that hit. I mean, to be fair, if the quality is bad, it's still better than the, uh, <laughs> the quality that I've got on live on uh, Game Pass. Because I've got nothing. <laughs> Which is not good quality at all. Third and five for Frankfurt here. Six minutes left on the clock in the first. They probably teeter on the end of uh, Phil Gorincha. Swing pass out to Sandro, who tiptoes over the first down. That's very nice. Good balance. Sandro's been a big part of this one. I think I said that in my pre-game stuff. That's all Sandro would have a big impact. Great bear bands. Look at that. Tiptoes on the sidelines. Beautiful stuff. Heading into the red zone. Get in there. Wide open player, but he's sacked. Is that Will Lytle? Yes, it is. Guess who just fucking put him on the top ten? Me. <laughs> Underappreciated American right there. Look at that. Straight through. Eating up on the guards. We were talking about guards yesterday. Not very good ones in, in Frankfurt, to be completely honest. American D-tackle is uncommon, too. But he ripped through them on that one. Uh, I could do if my if I had a proper VPN. But if I use Opera GX VPN, it, I, I, it like, one-eighths my Wi-Fi. And as we all know, my Wi-Fi ain't good already. <laughs> We'll just have to stick with this for a minute and keep refreshing. I'm sure it won't be like this all day. Yeah, you are right that they're under a lot of pressure. Speaking of which, though, he's over the middle for the score. Nice finish on the drive. That's Kevin Kaya. Great catch over the middle on the post route. Let me write that down real quick. Great delivery. That was a nice drive. That was a real nice drive. Great drive to get back on pace. There's a dot. Beautiful throw. That's a good point. So it was a, uh, a sustained drive, good run of Sandro's, a key third down with Sandro getting a swing pass, keeping his balance by breaking a tackle, and then Kevin Kaya caught a post route. Uh, McKay dropped back, scan right, post route, just right in the middle. Beautiful throw, good catch. PAT's good, so it's up there up by 7-6. Uh, I think, I think the, the stadium, I think you're absolutely right on that. Decent return by Cologne. Four minutes, eight seconds after this uh, quarter. Total yards, f according to the live stats, 73 for Frankfurt. 10 for Cologne. Of course, they had that short field, so they really need to get many yards from that. We'll see how they deal with a more sustained drive on this one without their starting running back. In the middle, that was a good hole. Oh my god, he fumbled the fucking ball. <laughs> this game is weird already. <laughs> We've had three fumbles <laughs> in the first quarter. And we're putting all caps. Fumbles. So we've had like two official and then the one that the, the was nearly a fumble. And I'm going to put keep... 
hold of the damn ball. Holy shit. I, I think Cars Hill should do all right. I'm not sure how much he's going to get touches if this is the offense they're running with. Run out the middle of Sandra, wide open. 15, 14 yard gain out of that. Easy light work. Sandra's going to have a big one. I think Sandra's in line for a 100 plus. It doesn't really look like uh, Colonna here. I know they're only one point down, but damn. Lunch? Oh yeah, it's like 12 o'clock, my bad. <laughs> See you in a second, Marcus, have fun. Right, nothing on second run. Will Lytle. Oh, he kind of tripped. Will Lytle got a tackle for it, but he tripped over. Knocking at the door, and Sanchez wide open. But they're going to go over the middle. Too far for Markel. Gets half a hand on it, but that was a really, really f tough one to try and grab out. Probably saved that being a pick, though. Oh, wait, didn't uh, Alfieri say that we're going to have another B uh, D uh, Bijan Harris interception there? Or touchdown? Is he playing? I think he is. I haven't seen number one anywhere, though. Did he catch that? Kaya's having a good game already. Kaya's having a good game already. Nice grab. Very nicely done. Clone are going to get in torched on defense here. They're struggling. Frankfurt is about 22 yard line already. No, sorry. Minus this uh, 17 yard line. Run out the middle by Sandro. Maybe gets a yard. But this is a weird streaming experience. <laughs> Still nothing. I think, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, about the new stadium being an issue, potentially. I mean, it looks nice. Stadium looks nice, but if the streaming stuff don't work, then that ain't great. McKay run in for about six. Third and short. There's nothing there. Runs left. Tries to orchestrate receivers out, but none can create separation. Okay. Third and two. Plenty of time. Wide open. Oh my god, how the hell do you miss that fucking pass? Markel is wide open on the drag route. Ooh, okay, there is holding. They get away with that. Yeah, he was absolutely within seven or eight yards of any Cologne Centurion. And they couldn't hit him. I think they've even got some technical issues with like the scoreboard and stuff. There we go, first and goal. Yeah, I, I'm strongly expecting Sandris to run us in. Now they're going to pass it. Rolling left. There was a dot to Castle. He was in for the touchdown on a hitch route. Nicely done. Galaxy go up. Cologne's defense is getting torched. We write that down. They haven't looked uh, even close to stopping Frankfurt, really. Minus that fumble recovery, but... There we go. What's up, Shaz? <laughs> Welcome in. I mean, yeah, it's just I'm I'm now I'm now the go-to person <laughs> if you want to kind of watch a little bit of commentary. Yeah, I don't think it's like the defense too, but I've only seen two drives of Cologne. One of them started at the six, and the other was an immediate fumble. But you are damn right. Don't forget to like the video, Shaz. I'm doing I'm doing a service for the people here. Giving commentary. And insight. Markel Castle. Oh fucking hell, just spill water in my own eyeball. <laughs> so you don't get this kind of commentary on your left pass, boys. <laughs> You don't get commentators spilling drinks into their own fucking eyes on the <laughs> game pass. This is some this is some next level shit. Yeah, I mean that's tough. That is tough. The return by Cars Hill gets out to about the 26, 27 yard line. Uh hitch. First and uh, first and goal on the three. Following a flag, McKay rolls out left and throws to Markel Castle on a hitch. He's just too big and strong. 
Alright, quick screen. Gets nothing for Cologne. Maybe a yard if they're lucky. Cross Hill. Getting a catch, but again, not much. Castle has had, by, by his standards, a slightly down year too, because he obviously had the QB issues. But he's still a fantastic receiver. Alright, Weed. Second and 10, 30 seconds left of the quarter, probably the last play of the quarter. We hand off to running back, who gets back to the land scrimmage, maybe a yard if he's a generous spot. It's going to bring up third and nine, probably the end of the first. I don't imagine they'll get another playoff in this time. But first quarter, all Frankfurt. If they didn't have that fumble, then it would be a, a very, very... Uh, Dominant game. So Frankfurt got 116 yards. Centurions have 25. 55 passing yards for the Galaxy. 4 for Cologne. 61 rushing for the Galaxy. 21 for Cologne. 14 6 being the score. Third down efficiency 100% for Frankfurt. 50% for Centurions. Yeah, that still counts. I forget, man. Teams, obviously, with the uh, amount of players that move around in Europe. So when I was talking about it yesterday, I always forget the uh, J played for the Unicorns. There you go. <laughs> we'll run like that for a minute. Okay. Okay. See, I'm not too keyed into the coaches. Some of which I am, but like, I couldn't name some of the coaches in other places. All right, here we go. Fourth and 18. Always helpful. Because they also, some of the players are getting skipped. We've, we've had a couple of times where the ad break has eaten into one of the plays. And away. Looks like a good punt, to be fair. Takes a favorable Cologne bounce, which it uh, kind of takes a neutral one. All right, Frankfurt get the ball back. Hopefully Berlin and Paris will be back, because I actually do really want to watch that game. Deep drop by McKay. Pressured. Rolling right. Still rolling. Throws up a really high pass to a no one. Oh, fake toss out. McKay has to take it himself. Gets a yard back. Alright, fourth down for Frankfurt. That short route went nowhere. Just a hitch by Kai over the floor. Ball hits the floor before it gets to him. And I think I get a little thicker of a line. Because obviously I do the ELF lives. But I don't want to jeopardize that. <laughs> As your boys... Oh, there we go. See, even the, uh, even the stats are down now. I could try and do play-by-play. -play. I ain't a very good commentator. I'm a, I'm a talker. I'm still thinking on that. I think based off a of form, I'm going to have to go for Malik, Markel, Reese. And that hurts to say. I think all of them are fantastic. But I think that's what I'm going to have to go for. Because Reese is on an easier conference. You know, he's not really being tested. He's got a potential one of the best rookie debut on seasons we've seen. He's got a quarterback and a running back that work well together. Obviously, Kerry is the start of the show, and, and Holmes is a drive finisher, and that drives finish as well. But, but like Stanley, obviously, he's a triple crown winner. He's had a little bit of a. No, Markel's obviously a, a triple crown winner. A little bit of a downer year this year, but it's still amazing. Oh, Malik's huge. I've never met Malik. But, like, he stands out on tape. <laughs> right, third and four for Cologne. We throws onto the right side for an out route. Carlos Hill, there we go, breaks the tackle, shows his shiftiness. Big gain for about 15, 20 yards. That's important. There's only three minutes, 30, three minutes, 21 seconds left of this. Kind of mad, but I'm glad I did still stream regardless. We got a good amount of people in there. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I feel like people forget about that. I might do that as well with, like, um, players you forgot played in certain places. Like, people always forget Malik played in, in Vorsav. Um, who else has played in, like, an obs like a place you just didn't, didn't think they'd play in? I kind of feel like Jean Constant at the Dragons is one of them. I never think of Jean at the Dragons, even though that was, like, his best season. Oh, McLam at the Raiders was so good. He's what, he was the best receiver in the league while he was there, arguably. Weed rolling out after a bit of pressure. Great run by Weed. Gets up for about seven. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Yeah, I'm sure uh, 
Ricardo will agree. But when Markel was, when Jarvis was in the Raiders, he was arguably the best receiver in the league at that point. I mean, I want to look at stats now. An injury to one of the Frankfurt players. Didn't see who it was, but we can appreciate European ballers. All right, third and five. Weed into the middle. There's Carlos Hill for a touchdown. All right. Maybe they ain't done. 94 seconds left. It's quite a lot of time. Maybe maybe they ain't done. I think they'll do something like... Um, like soccer football have done. I cannot get over how fucking weird this setup is with my lats up. Like, this is straight. This is straight ahead. In front of me. <laughs> so why, why am I so wonky? Let me try and like... Crop my video. Because I'm like so one-sided. Just so it's not so fucking wonk, because I'm like breaking my spine. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> there we go. And I'll just crop a bunch on the on the left side too. There we go. That, that's better. I'll just put myself put myself over here. More usable. A lot better. A lot better. I'm not breaking my fucking neck anymore. All right. So Frank got the ball back. 91 seconds. Still on the clock. All right. Maybe maybe make that. 86. I'm gonna give it another refresh. But I'm I'm all good with we're all right. Not to worry. And Alex is here on chat on on call. There's Sandro with a nice screen. All right, all right. Now now we mean business. We're back now. We are so back. Frank for a call cool timeout. So it makes sense. I'm not allowed to move, there we go. I'm going to shrink. Has been a good game, Alex, I agree. Am I not? I swear I was. I left that call. Pretty sure I'm out of it, no? <laughs> Pretty sure I'm out of it. Alright, 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 alright. Let me, let me re stretch out my spine now that I've actually got the fucking thing sorted. The K throws out of bounds. I've got a very weird setup <laughs> for the actual thing. I can see the streams were running tight. I've got the comment section actually viewable to me. And I've got the game. So we're all good. And the laptop hasn't started burning yet. Okay, now it's right in the middle. A weird play design on third and 15. He's got a good like 17 yards out of there, but he's got no timeouts. I know why I wouldn't just throw it out of bounds, try and just get one last Hail Mary, but uh, they got nothing out of it. Half time. We've only we've only now just started getting into it. But we finally had uh, the half time whistle. So now now just fucking what a we what a weird fucking start to this game. Timeout early again. We've seen that a lot with these teams. A lot of early timeouts. Two touchdowns for Castle. Man Siestro, so far, for me, is, is quite clearly the MVP of the week. Look at, look at Alex with those well researched numbers and stats. Did Salem really go four for 15? That's terrible. Alright, here they go. Big run at the middle yet? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty naughty, but only managed to get back to the line. <laughs> Are they going to fumble? I, I hope not, but I'm glad they're actually running the ball this time. They hated running the ball in the red zone in the early season. Actually, Meyer could be in conversation for uh, for the MVP of the week. Two, 142 yards, two touchdowns. I'm going to pass it. No one's open. No one is open. Oh, man, that was fucking cool. Oh, that was fucking cool. That was really cool. I like that. <laughs> that was awesome. That's awesome. That was a great, great, great play. Like, obviously not planned. But that was nice. Look at that. See, so fake to it. They're looking for Castle. He was not open. Comes back around. Got Sandra, who's in pass protection. It's just able to get the screen off. Damn. I think we'll probably see Frank throw. Maybe take a few steps ahead now. 
I'm glad he's getting there, man. We all wanted to see out him do well in the Raiders. Obviously, he's had his injuries. Moved over to Frankfurt for his medical stuff. Had a great play. Oh, yeah, he was definitely looking for Mark Allen. Just couldn't get it to him. Covered, but... Damn good job by uh, Sandro. And that offensive line held up nice, too. Because they stayed right in front of Sandro. Able to get him that uh, easy, easy touchdown. Look at that. I haven't seen that before either, Alex. All right, Cars Hill again. See what we can make. Let's see if you can make this a little bit closer. I don't want to eat too close to the mic. <laughs> so I don't think you can hear me eating cereal, but that show is a very crunchy food, which is my fault. The Centurions have an underrated logo. Ooh! He's fun. I will die on that hill. He's fun. Like, <laughs> you don't get that from any other quarterbacks in this league. <laughs> exactly. You're going to hear me, Ian. <laughs> it's Tawani out the middle. Nice gain. Easy first. It was good blocking by the Centurions, though, Lamb. I couldn't agree more, Alex. Uh, it's up now. It wasn't for the pretty much the whole first half. But we, we finally got it now, but it definitely it wasn't there for a long time. Draw goes negative, not a good draw. Yeah, we, we, we watched the first half on Discord, pretty much. All but like maybe the last couple of players. But now we're okay. Third and seven, this one's quite a difficult one. In the pass, looking left. Rolling left. Just throws it out of bounds. Not great. Fourth down. Likely punt here. Who's number 11 for Cologne? Does Cologne have a number 11? All the cheerleaders wear a number 11. <laughs> Everything kindergarten, so I can say it's screwed, but I'm way thinking about music for children. Yeah, I mean, facts. Absolutely. Some of the music these kids chose, like during it when it was their time, where they had some like reward they could listen to music or whatever on their iPad. Some of the shit they would choose to listen to. Oh my god. Not good. Why have we been showing the cheerleaders for like this long? <laughs> Am I the only one who's like not fussed by having a show between every play? I think that's a very American part that's like in our American football game that has transferred a lot to Europe, but like. I feel like most people don't give a fuck about <laughs> cheer shows. Maybe that's just me being a, an old man. They're back out after a long awaited break. Right, run in the middle, maybe a yard out of it. Not much on that one. Yes. <laughs> oh, wide open. Yeah, Nico. Easy as you like. I ain't, I ain't saying yes, but... <laughs> Nico, I would expect Nico to have a bit more of a bigger uh, impact Frankfurt this year. He did real well. There we go, Alex. That ad read. See so if fans reach out this merch. We can actually get this merch at elf.football.shop. <laughs> no, I got that wrong, but you know I watch too much football and I kind of know the ad reads. Fishback. Nicely done. Done your game. Shop. European League of Football. There you go. <laughs> I said European League of Football. Shop. I'm not very good at. Ah, uh, I should be ashamed of myself. A ton of time. Right over the middle. Easy. Okay, picking a part zone. Easy for him. They've been they've been kind of easy on this one. They've been able to move. Quite freely, I think, since the first half has ended. Okay, steps up. He's going to run for it. About eight out of that. Good stuff on McKee. He's played well. He's played well. He really has. They've done very well. Entering into the red zone. More than halfway through the third now. Put the first and third go really quick. Strawman, nice game. Strawman's been a big one in this drive. See, Strawman has good size. I like Strawman's size for a slot receiver. 
because he played a lot of slot last season. He's very reliable. But I actually really like Liko Schramman a lot. Okay, again, I'm gonna run it. Oh, bad tackling. Bad tackling there by the, uh, the Centurions. Oh, right down. Galaxy kind of running away with this one now. There we go. 20 minutes left to game clock. 20 point difference. Possibly 21. 21. I don't know if Cologne could come back from this, fellas. I think they might kind of be done. We've got flag. The only thing I heard was a coach talking about Platz Gummer's thighs. I mean, really talking about size and shape. We're like, okay, we get it. <laughs> I mean, he does have big legs. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of like that too. Because I just watch all... I love athletics. And I love, like, athletes. I watch gymnastics. I watch dance. I watch... Archery, I watch anything. I just think the athletics and building a certain frame and stuff like that is fascinating. So I'm kind of with him on that. <laughs> yeah, Sandra does have big fucking legs. My well, Sandra would probably be size for running back. I'm going to make that. McKay has done well, actually. McKay's done 15 for 21, 227 yards and four touchdowns. People would like the videos about that. The problem with the league is that most fans are German speaking, so content on English is harder for people to get. I agree. I was on a road yesterday. Have you seen a Vienna game? It's good enough to rewatch. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. There's a few moments. Vienna started slow again in the first quarter, and then they kind of just ran away with it. Holmes had another game where he just kind of finished off drives. It was a pretty dominant one. I wouldn't say it's rewatchable. I probably will only watch the second and third quarter. Because I watched the fourth quarter and I watched the first. And I got notes for both of them. But my notes are like four lines. Because not really much happened. It was just Vienna being better. All the games yesterday were blowouts. To be fair. Weed, immediate pressure. Steps up. Looks deep. Oh, Carlos Hill! Okay, all right, a little bit of a spark, a little bit of a spark. Yeah, most of my, let me have a little look at my target audience, because most of my viewers, most of my views come from America and from Germany. Let's have a little look at the views. So the last 28 days. Okay, maybe I'm, slight, I'm slightly wrong. So if I go for my videos, it's actually Germany is the most by far. By nearly double, and then America, and then Austria is only just behind America. So German-speaking countries are definitely the ma majority. For my shorts, it's mostly UK, United States. For my lives, it's mostly Germany. Again, shout out to my Germans and Austrians though. Weed, running, dumping off, dropped by Carlos Hill. Gotta catch that, brother. Gotta catch that. For the power rankings, I imagine that'll be kind of a mix. Most oh wow, Germany and Austria again, massively favoured. Damn man. Austrian and Germans turning up. I gotta check the ELF live too. That makes sense, because the UK League is not really present. No, it's shit. The UK League is shit. It's a waste of fucking <laughs> I will I will likely never make a video on a UK league player unless they're like really good or like oh clearly ELF level obviously I made ones about the youth football leagues in, in the UK with the NFL Academy but that's different Germans and Austrians I imagine have the same relationship like the English and the French well you love each other really but you kind of also hate each other <laughs> the Brazilian league I definitely want to do a video on absolutely but if, like, the ELF season ends and the Brazilian season is still playing, I will absolutely stream Brazilian games. If I can find them. Let me have a little look at this. Has a wee little floater. Easy catch to Robin. Good job. Good job. Good job. I mean, the more the merrier, to be honest. That was a great play call. Oh, shit, it was Hill that threw it. I thought it was Weed. Damn, that's fine. 
Very cool. I mean, if you can send me his at, that would be good, actually. Because I do want to, I absolutely do want to do some stuff on Brazil. I've obviously done that video on some of the Brazilian players, but I would like to do some stuff in the Brazilian league, too. Because the Brazilians turn up, they really do. When I did that Brazilian football video, people turned up for that from Brazil. The demographics of that Brazilian video, because they, they did well, and that video did well. Throwing it up. Kaya. Nicely done. Sideline guy. Great catch. Important. McKay's done very well. Oh, wait. Didn't didn't Alfieri say that McKay was going to get like MVP of the week or like 300 yards? I'm crack my back. There we go. See, I know a little bit. Ah, I just fucking ruined my oblique. Yeah, like I loved learning Portuguese because it's such a fun language to learn. And so, like you say, the uh, two point conversion. Nice. And it's not over yet. Alex is right. Far from over. Still plenty of time left. I mean, we might have a game here. I thought Frankfurt were pulling away, but Carlos Hill seems to have kind of dragged them back into it. That's definitely a holding on uh, Divine there, a bit of jersey grabbing, but it matter. Look at that tracking though, like, great stuff. Great play as well, just wide open, great throw, great catch, great separation. I'm glad this game was close, we wanted this game to be close. 12 minutes after the 4th, it taking a while to get back to the kick though. Come on, boys, let's get going now, shall we? Why are we taking so long to get this game underway? There's still a two points. It was a weird um, two point conversion, but I mean, they got it, so you can't complain too much. But it's still nine points. I guess you could get a touchdown and a field goal. It, I guess. Makes it a winnable game rather than like a tieable game. So, the only real thing I can think of there. But why are we not playing football? What is going on? Every team so far, I mean, every time they've been in the red zone, they've scored. Both teams. They've been 9 for 9 so far. We've had a great game. 23 for 28, unofficially. 232 yards and a touchdown. That's been, that's been big. Hill's credit for now 150 yards and two touchdowns. So he's got a case for MVP of the week. Alright, here we go. Finally kicking off. And Hart's going to take the ball, not bad return at all. He was my thumbnail for today. More flags, so there's been a lot of flags, man. <laughs> there's been a lot of flags so far in this game. Nine on that way as well, I believe. I think Galaxy are going to want to try and run these numbers a little bit, try and have some long drives with Sandro. Even if they stall out and they have to get the ball back, we're still nine points up, they can afford it, but I think Taking some time off this clock absolutely has to be the priority here. Haven't seen Harris much involved. Did good tackle there, though. Harris and, like, Hill look quite similar through their face masks. Yeah, I mean, exactly what I was saying, Alex. Haven't seen him so far in this game too much. They're in eight already. No, they haven't stopped Sandro. McKay's got a ton of time, but not a bunch of options. Dropped. They ain't taking nearly enough time with our clock, maybe a minute? Took a minute off that? We could see a bit of a Cologne comeback coming along here, I ain't gonna lie. Off the hands of Markel, that's unlike him. Not common. See Markel dropping footballs, not common at all. McKay did good. Punt's up. Punt's not fantastic. Uh, let's have a little poll, shall we? Let's have a look. Who are we taking? Oh my god, if Centurions win this game, I think a lot of people in Frankfurt are going to get fired. <laughs> I'll be real. Carl's Hill. Carl's Hill again. He's balling. He really is. Ten passes. I wonder what the most catches is in a game. I think it's someone from Barca. Like, it might be someone like Remy in Barca or um, Robitaille. It's Hill again, another catch. He's been everywhere. 
They need to start identifying Hill. Wherever he's at. <laughs> wherever the fuck that dude is. I said I liked him when he joined from Sac State mid-season. Great catch. Lorax has had a great... Let me write that down. I'm so pronouncing that wrong, if that's how you pronounce it. Lorax. Score here. Even a field goal. Sets him up nicely. You know, as long as they don't turn the ball over. Then they're looking at a, a good return here. Right, this could be interesting now. We out right over the top, but we got flags. Let's get Frankfurt again. Ah, they will shift. Tough. Tough, 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 tough. Legal shifts are never fun. Only a couple yards. Stepping up. Looking to take off. Pressured. Here, Daryl gets stiff armed. He throws up a ball, but it's dropped by Robin. Oh, it's caught. Cool. Let's fucking go, Robin. I've met Robin. Nice guy. Did he catch that or does that incomplete? Kind of looked like the ball came out when it went on the floor. Yeah, still third and 12. Okay, I was going to say. That would have been quite the catch. And quite the throw, of course. Seven and a half minutes. It's enough time. But like Alex said, this is a big third down. The field goal wouldn't exactly be comfortable. It's thrown up to the sideline. Complete to Frolic. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. All right, Cologne. <laughs> Third and 12. Great throw. Little high, but good hands. On the vine. Where's Hill? He's in the slot. On motion. Goes outside. Weed. Rolls. Out. On the run. Another catch. Big hit. Good to see you again, Marcus. It's been a big. Uh, it's been a, a lot going on with this drive. Popped, but hopefully he's all right. I agree. <laughs> a really good hint thing here because third and one and they're inside like the four yard line. So they get another fresh set of downs if they can just get a yard out of this. I think the smart thing would just be to run the ball. Yeah, you get first down on the one yard line. That'd be really hard to not score. Well, he's going to take the draw. I don't like that play call. Don't like that play call. I don't know why you don't just run out of the middle. Like it's third and one. You can get fresh set of downs if you get one yard. I don't like that play call. They are gonna go for the field goal. This will make him a touchdown winner. Kick perfect. Very possible now. Depending on Frank first drive here. Yeah, I mean this is a this is tight. This is tight. We didn't think it would be. Well, I didn't think it would be. When they went, what, what score did they go up? And that Sandro score, I really thought it was over. So yeah, fucking people complaining about, all oh, the league, so we need the league to be more fair. Now, when the game's like this, they'll ignore it. <laughs> you always fuck with a, a blank and ship kind of kicker. Matthew McKay's done very well. Weed's done very well. It's been a battle. This might be one of the better games of the season. What do you do if you're Frankfurt? Do you go for points? Or do you take time off the clock? Make them beat you. I mean, obviously, you're always going to go for points. But you know what I mean? Like, you're going to be aggressive and go for points. You're going to go for it on fourth downs. Now, at the third, this is a 70-yard field. There's a long way to go. Six-point game. Five and a half minutes left. There's a lot of time. Cologne have two timeouts and a two-minute warning if they need it to get to that point. Okay. Downfield. Oh! Bichon! Why did you go to Bichon? Why did you go to Bichon? Incomplete! No! No! That would have been fucking poetry. Oh man, how'd he drop that? How'd he drop that? That could have been the like, that could have been such an iconic moment. They've run it with McKay. Third and long. Well, third and medium. Oh my god. If Bijan made that fucking catch. That would have been one of the all-time ELF moments. Ah, oh, jeez. Third and six. I can kind of see Frank forgetting this. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Or third and seven, rather. They're going to pass it, you'd think. Look in, look in, look in. Way out of it. Fourth down. Clock has stopped. Four minutes, 33 seconds. Cologne could do this. You'd think, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a bad, bad play call. I agree with Sergeant Miles. I see you today. Hope you're doing good. Oof. God damn. I didn't think they'd do this. I didn't think they'd do this. I thought I thought they'd be done when they lost Gerald. Bad play calls to look at Dijon Harris. Alright, here's the drive. Here's Weed. Nearly picked. <laughs> nearly picked. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. It was nearly picked. So we're gonna start watching. Good morning to you in New Jersey. He said New York, but I imagine you would have been offended by that. Really? I, I would be. I would have been surprised. But here we are. Surprise. It's been a great game. Carlos Hill has been fantastic. As has Weed. But Carlos Hill has been extremely good. Four and four. This is, this is... Right, please don't just fucking run that QB draw again. That QB draw on throwing one in the goal line was so bad. Time to take off. Yep. Flags. I think this one's coming back. I think this one's coming back. An equal shift. Could have been holding, honestly, too, but... At least it's a third down and not a fourth down. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh no, it, that's just the wrong. It's not fourth down, it is third. I can look at the chains, it says third. There we go, they've changed it. Weed. Taking a shot up. Oh, nice. Okay, legalize it, baby. Let's go. Holy shit. The homegrown receivers have done so well for them. They were down 21. Is this the biggest comeback in ELF history? It's definitely up there. If they get it. If they get it. Fires left. Oh! He was blasted. Is it Hill? No, it was not Hill. It was uh, Bofenda, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just makes me laugh every time. I'm a child. I really am. Yep, again, there's hitches, like you say. I'm going to lean forward in my chair. Frulik again. Lorek has been good. Frulik has been good. Bofenda has been good. Like, the homegrown receivers in this game have very much complimented Hill. Liggins has not had a good game. Neither really has Divine. Third and three. Looking again for that hit. There's Carlos Hill. They're going to take down to the two-minute warning now. Yeah, Divine's playing corner. Quite a bit. I agree, Divine is not a corner. I think he's a safety too. Now he gets burned by, I was talking about earlier with him against Milan last year. He got fucked up by Jean Constant. Divine has played corner. I haven't been watching him every play, but this in this game he has definitely played some corner. Let's see if they can finish off strong. I hope they can, because it'll be funny. <laughs> I'm really hoping they can finish off strong. That Sandro play was so good. You guys go back and watch at least the highlights of this game, Jamal. It's been a great game. All-time game, I dare say. Yeah, we have been treated. And uh, Alex is cool in this game, too. So he popped in and out here a little bit as well. All right. Two minutes. 26 yards. 26 and a half yards. That's not a ton of... That's that and, and two timeouts. Underneath route. Yep. Nope. That's not what I thought. Oh, nice. Hill again. He's been so good. And he got out of bounds. Carlos Hill has been so good. I don't think they're going to either, but I hope for a competitive game. Hill has been so good. Nice. They are now inside. They're on now the 14-yard line. They got out of bounds. They're all good on clock. Looking left. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Folik! Folik! <laughs> 21 boy comeback! Oh shit! I know, I saw as soon as he did this. I was like, it's a home run play. Oh my god. Because of this, it's obviously a home run play, but holy shit! Legalize it, baby! He's a fun fucking quarterback. You can't tell me he ain't. Holy shit, 21 point comeback. 
if they make the PAT. I think he just fucking missed. I think that was incom. That was. Did he just miss that? He missed it. He missed the kick, right? Oh no! Oh no! Ad Alex hasn't noticed that he missed yet. Oh my god! Well, it's still within within range. We don't. We did. We haven't. Have we ever had overtime? I mean, obviously, I think we have at some point, but like this year, we definitely haven't had overtime. I can't remember last year when we had overtime. Okay. Coverage is good. He's directing. Nice run. Gonna have to get up and go if they want to try and get points out of this, unless they're calling timeout. They're not calling the timeout. 90 seconds left. Less than that now. Fucking 37 37, you know. What, last year? Yeah. No one's open again. McKay's going to have to run for it again. Receivers have struggled to create separation. Got out of bounds. 107 left. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. If we see a Bijan Harris walk off pick six, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. McKay off again, third time in a row. Absolutely nailed. Third down. Alright, they called the timeout. It's third down. Oh, no receivers have got open in his last drive. McKay's had to do it all with his own. He's going to be kind of gassed, I imagine. That's a good point, actually. That's a really good point. Alright, third and two. I agree with Alex. I think they're going to run this with McKay. Send some pressure. McKay's running outside. Passed up, dropped! Dropped by Shum! Fourth and two! Oh my god! <laughs> Bad drop! Bad drop! Uh, I mean, I probably would have ran it with Sandro too. Very bad play up, bad, 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 poor play calling for some of this game. They're going for it. Empty backfield, snap, draw. He got it, he got it, he got it. Not a bad call, pretty good call, I reckon. But now they got to hurry up back to the line, they ain't got that long. 35 left. You don't have to fucking apologize for caps, man. Like, look at this game. <laughs> I'm speaking in all caps. Flags. Grounding flags, probably. I mean, they've had intentional grounding. That's going to send them back a lot. Well, that field goal range. I mean, it was already at field goal range, but you get what I mean. They've just got a, they've just got a grounding, so I think I don't think they're in field goal range. Ooh, ooh. I don't think he's got the leg for it, bro. That's a fuck. It's like a sixty yarder, maybe fifty yarder. Rimler, he, I, I mean, he could do it. <laughs> I mean, he could do it. Shit. A lot of discussion, but twenty three seconds left. A timeout still. Second down. Is it still second down? Oh yeah, they're way back out of field goal range now. I don't think Alders can kick a 70 yarder, bro. Like, <laughs> they're, they're on their own 43. <laughs> second and 28 now. I love uh, Jakob as much as the next man. I'm not so sure he can make that kick. <laughs> Come on, uh, at least let's get the last um, 10 second runoff as well. So they had intentional grounding. Loss of down and the 10 second runoff. Brutal. You're gonna just throw it up. No? Go oh come on man. Like you got fucking five seconds left. You might as well just throw it up. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> what a way to kill the end of this game. Uh, one second, they got one time. Weird team, you know. I mean they're gonna have to kinda go to overtime. They're gonna throw a Hail Mary there. Yeah, McKay does have a good arm, but this is a big, big, big ask of him. And you imagine? I mean I think we'll see some laterals. If uh, if this goes down, could be a hell mary there. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. There's no draws in it. You left. Hook and ladder. There's no draws in it. You left. It goes until someone wins. 
I've never really seen much of an overtime game in year 11. I remember the Volstadt versus Hamburg one, but like, not really. Holy fuck. Touchdowns, 254 yards. Weed, 348 yards and three touchdowns. Sandro, 79, but a very good 79. Carlos Hill with 192 and 2, with 15 catches in a day. Amazing game. He's up over 200 now. He is. And if he gets a win here, if he gets a game winner, might just get MVP of the week. It's him or Madden Siestra. 2022. Jeez, we had an overtime game in like two years. There's no possibility of a draw. One of these teams will win. They go from the 25 yard in, and until they score, or the other one doesn't, it's done. So if they score a touchdown, then get two point conversion, then you have to match it. If they score, get seven, they have to match it. If they get field goal, and the other team gets more, the other team wins. And that just repeats over and over and over again until we have a winner. Weed. Outside, yep. Oh my god, what a play. Oh. Lorak has been so good. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Holy fuck. Beautiful, beautiful throw. Right, so now this is important because if he misses this, they score and then they get field goal, they win. So he needs to kind of make this. He missed an earlier one. Oh, he missed it. Darn. A defensive stop and it doesn't mean anything. You know, like they could still win with a defensive stop. Oh man, he could have won him the game. He really could have won him the game twice. Yikes. McKay. Oh, not very clutch. Flags. Oh, no way. I told you he was underrated. <laughs> told you he was underrated. He's a good ass fucking player. Jesus. Jesus. 21 point comeback. Third and 22. 23. Yep. Okay, scanning, rolling, going, dropped. Fourth down. This is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is the game right here. This is the best game in the NF history. I am going to talk so much shit. On these comment sections is unfathomable. Here we go. McKay up, throwing it, rainbow in it. Holy fuck, brother, best game of the year. Not even close, best game of the year. Holy shit, appreciate it, Ricardo. Thank you very much. Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking smoking on that galaxy pack. Legalize it, baby, holy shit.